So I managed to drop it. I managed to drop it. Took it out. I fell on the floor. Let's check the corners. This corner is okay. This corner is okay. And this is kind of a bit scratched, but still okay. This is okay, so you look here. Oh, watch this. Dropped here and touched a bit here. Hope it still works. Never tried it. I thought it hit here, but maybe no. This looks okay. The heat sink makes it heavy. I dropped the previous one too. But that was easy. This is heavy. That was light. We didn't get damaged, but here. <coughs> Just a little bit here. But the board seems okay. In touch, it fell here. Let's try to install this. Firecuda Seagate Special Edition 1TB PCIe 4 Nice Pattern here I need to find the screws M.2 screws here When installing a new M.2 M2 NVMe system drive okay, or a <coughs> SSD, the biggest problem usually is that you don't find the screws and I almost had this problem and there is a spoiler alert, it wasn't in this box and it's there is a tip here, this is my last hope here. it was not there there is a tip here that you should have your uh, screws when you install the motherboard on the computer you should place the uh, NVMe screws on those slots on the motherboard even if you don't need them even if you don't use them so you you will thank me later or you'll thank yourself later these are the M2 slots I have two here one is used and I don't really want to dig under the GPU there. This is the nice, nice NVMe with the heatsink, PCI 4, nice speed on it. Here in the computer BIOS you see I have the SSD 970 EVO Plus from Samsung and the SSD, SATA SSD from Samsung 850 EVO, 500 giga both of them. The system drive is this one, the 970 EVO Plus, and I want to install the Seagate Fire CUDA with the heatsink and remove the old SATA SSD, the 850. This is my idea. And first, I I wanted to disable some of the options here. I didn't I didn't need to boot from the from the old SATA drive, but it doesn't matter. The first first one is the one that matters. The the time to install the SSD, the NVMe drive. I did a few restarts here. I was just checking to make sure that it's all okay. And eventually, when you're ready, you have to do a final shutdown on the computer and install the SSD
before you begin unplug the power cable remove it from the case completely not just turn off the switch unplug it and any other cables that might make it difficult for you to open the case and install the drive each case is different my case has this kind of screws it's a plexiglass panel so it doesn't break like glass you know there's no need to worry about breaking the glass oh this one's gonna be nice and easy yeah it's easy because i have access to it and this floating hard drive flying hard disk it's flying but not really it's just floating as i suspected i put the screw in the m.2 slot i have to congratulate myself now okay that was pretty smart that's yeah the congratulations part went too far but you know what i mean the screw and the socket and there's another one under here i'm gonna take that one out that one is under the graphics card There is the standoff on the screw. If you see any dust around the case filters and inside, try to wipe it clean it a little bit. I mean, it's the right time to clean up the case a bit, especially the CPU cooler and the graphics card. And that's where the old uh, SSD is, NVMe. I wouldn't remove it. 45 degrees angle when you install it, it's important. And it has to be with the board below, obviously, but just in case, if you have one with a heatsink, uh, also these things you can only install them the right way you see there is a notch on it on the contacts you will not be able to insert it unless it's inserted right install. what might happen is that you put it a bit tilted to the left or right most important is that the when you once you insert it it has to align with the screw hole It's important to take it slowly here, take your time. The screw for the M2, M.2 NVMe slot is not the usual Philips screw, so I'll put links in the description for screws if you lost your motherboard screws. Done. And also a toolkit to be able to install it. Not going anywhere. I believe it's a Torx screw. I'm not sure though. Pentalobe maybe. Check for dust. Anything unusual? Once I had the case opened, I also removed the old SATA SSD. This SSD is slow compared to the NVMe drives, but it's still a great hard disk for any computer and even amazing upgrade for a laptop you will watch this in a future video and let me know if you want to see more repair videos all the ssd this is good for a laptop
when reinstalling the wiring and the cables okay you could have taken a picture at the beginning before op removing them if you really don't know but if you have a computer uh, where you want to install an m2 ssd i guess you know where the cables go just in case i tell you it doesn't really matter the usb slots only the colors will matter some of them will be slower so you want your hard drives and anything fast to go in the blue usb drives usb slots and everything else really can only fit one way even the usb ports only fit one way take your time with them and if you are not sure about something you could ask someone you know or you can ask in the comments if you want some help hopefully i can help you or someone else might be able to help with uh, anything if it's something very specific for your system it might not be easy for anyone to get an idea of how your system is and why it's uh, performing strange yeah these things is really a lot about troubleshooting and it's uh, the part of the fun is to get it working and when you see it's working it's uh, wow it's amazing yeah the i have a lot of cables here actually some of them are not needed at all but i thought i will plug them in just so i don't have to go under the desk and fish the cables out even the speakers everything yeah the speakers the green one is the speaker out so that might be a problem if you plug it into the wrong port yeah the NVMe is installed and really it's ready to be tested because I dropped it. I'm not really sure if it's even gonna work. So I was a bit brave here that I put the, the panel, the glass panel, the plexiglass side panel, I put it back. Usually I wouldn't do this, I would try to power it on and see if it works and then close the system. The HDMI for the screen, pretty important if you want to see anything coming out of this. That's it. Power cable. Okay. The drive is inserted, but it's not detected here. So okay if it happens that you choose cancer here you can click on the drive there is no drive letter no drive letter right click on it initialize Windows 11 always GPT MBR is the old style make sure this is the real disk you inserted okay hope it works okay unallocated still no drive letter now it's easy, right click, new simple volume, take the whole drive, give it the letter you like,
done. Куда? Let's do a quick speed test. See how. First time ever I was using it. NVMe PCI 4, 7, 7 giga per second, 7.3. This drive is look, looks nice with the gaming options and everything, but I really just got it because there was a good offer on it. And also it had a heat sink that's also very important. So we'll see in a test how it performs.